And now, here's our NewsQuest investigator, Allison Bethel, with the report on Cope Center South. Each year, one out of ten girls under the age of 18 will become pregnant. What happens if the girl decides to keep her baby, and how will she continue her education? Cope Center South, continuing opportunities for purposeful education, is an answer to this question. Here, pregnant girls, married or unmarried, may continue their education without interruption. Girls may also remain part of the regular school system, but attend a special center for pregnant girls without any stigma. We visited Cope Center South to speak with its principal, Ms. Dorothy Wallace. Ms. Wallace has been principal of Cope Center South for 12 years, since July 1972 to the present. Every time. What does the curriculum consist of here at COPE? COPE Center South's curriculum is a uh, continuation of the Dade County Public Schools curriculum. However, emphasis is placed upon uh, prenatal care, postpartum information, family planning, and also nutrition. And we also stress uh, exercising, uh, especially the Lamaze method which is a way of preparing the young ladies for to live with. Okay. Um, who began COPE? Um, when was it began? And is it the only school of this kind in the Dade area? COPE Center South is a continuation of COPE Center North. And the school uh, concept was started back in 1968 by Dr. Leonard Britton, who is now superintendent of schools, and also Dr. Jeff West. The concern at that time was the number of young ladies who were pregnant and not able to continue their education. The word COPE means continuing opportunities for purposeful education. In summary, the first school for pregnant girls was started in Liberty City on uh, 117th and 54th Street, and that was Cope Center North. The first principal was uh, Mr. Gore, who was a male, and uh, followed up with Fran Chambers, who later became principal of the school. Okay. Um, how long are girls allowed to stay here at Cope Center South? A young lady starts in COPE as soon as her pregnancy has been confirmed or when there is a need for her to come to the school. The school is a voluntary program. It is not a place where a young lady has to attend. She voluntarily comes based upon a referral by her the social worker or the health department and maybe the counselor. However, we encourage the young ladies to come as soon as the pregnancy has been confirmed or they have definitely planned to go through with the pregnancy. And it's at that point, the earlier we have the young lady enrolled in the program, we feel that we're able to monitor the health needs of the young lady better so that uh, at the end results will be a healthier baby and not um, a premature baby or a low weight baby. Our real emphasis is to have healthy babies. But back to answer the question as to how long she may remain here. Uh, presently, a young lady may remain at Cope for until uh, the time to return to a home school, which normally would be at the end of the grading period, the first term grading period, or at the end of the year. Prior to this school year, 1983-84, young ladies were returned to their home school at the end of nine weeks following delivery. As soon as the nine weeks grading period ended, they were able to return to their home school. We no longer follow that practice because we want to assure the young lady of continuity in her subject areas 
at her home school and a chance to fake uh, passing rather than a fake kind of thing. Well, do most students um, keep their babies after they have them? 99% of the young ladies in the world Cope will keep their babies. Cope Center South houses a children's nursery set aside for the girls to keep their babies while attending classes. These babies are cared for by other students. Girls attending Cope range from the age of 12 to 19. Of the school's enrollment of 171, only 25 are repeated pregnancies. The girls are taught a variety of subjects, ranging from nursing and infant care to academic courses. Cope Center South gives these girls an opportunity conti to continue their needed education. This is Allison Bethel reporting for NewsQuest 84.